What's up guys, welcome back to Unreal Dev Hub. In today's UE5 tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do a simple but absolutely essential operation in Blueprint, and that is how to set the world location of an actor or component. Let's jump in. All right, let's jump into our content drawer. We will open up our content drawer, right click, create a new basic asset, a blueprint of type actor. We'll call this BP underscore set actor location in volume. And we're gonna double click to open this up. And once we're inside here, what we're gonna do is in our top left uh, in the components panel, we're going to click add. Uh, first we'll add a sphere. And what we'll do is click back up onto the default scene route. We're gonna type, uh, we're gonna hit add again and we will type box collision. And we're gonna use this not as a collision volume, but just as a box volume. And while we have the box uh, selected up here in the components panel, what we're gonna do is then go over into our details panel in the right. We're gonna change the extents of this to, uh, let's say 800, 800, 400. So it's gonna look like that. And then we're gonna go in the top right and we're gonna change the world, uh, we're gonna change the component location to 400 so that it sits on top of the ground just like that. What we're going to do now is we're going to go over to our event graph right here. We're going to delete our begin overlap and event tick and off of event begin play. What we'll do is we'll drag off and we'll say set timer by event. And what this is going to do is allow us to set a timer uh, for an event of our choosing. We're going to drag off here and we're going to say <clears throat> create event. We're going to click where it says signature and select function. We're going to say create a matching event. We're going to say set sphere uh, location. And first, before we do anything right now, what we're going to want to do is set this to looping is true up here in our set timer by event. And we're going to pull off the time and we're going to say uh, promote to variable. So right here in this drop down, it's going to say promote to variable. We'll call this timer duration. And we'll go down here to our set sphere location and we'll grab our box up here from the details panel. We'll say get world location. We'll say uh, get box extent and we'll use the get scaled box extent. And we'll click out here and we'll say uh, random point in a bounding box. So I right click and then search that. And I'll use this uh, random point in bounding box. There's a few options, but we're gonna use this first one. And I am going to grab this and drag it into the half size. I'm gonna grab center and drag it into here. And then we're going to pull our sphere off of our components panel up here. So I'll drag into our graph and we'll pull off and we will say set world location. So I'm gonna drag this into here, then I'm gonna drag this into here. So what we've done is on begin play, we're gonna start a timer every duration seconds, which we're gonna set that right now. So we're gonna set this to every 0.5 seconds. So make sure this is set, we want a value here. Uh, and we're going to, so every 0.5 seconds, we'll follow, we'll do this event. So we're gonna jump down here to set sphere location, the event that's listed in this function right here. We're gonna get our box, we're gonna get half the size, we're gonna use that and we're going to feed that into this random point in bounding box and then set the location here. So what we're gonna do now is we'll go to our viewport and we wanna select our box. We can either do that in the viewport or in the components panel up here. We're gonna go in the details panel on the top right and we will say, uh, we'll type hidden in game. Uh, we're gonna set that to false so that we can see it uh, when we press play. And now we can jump back to our map. We can drag our blueprint into our environment. You can see here it appears as a white sphere halfway through the floor and then a bounding box. So I'm gonna right click right here and say play from here. And now I'll see my white sphere pop around in the area on my screen. And we can see that all the locations that it's moving around in are within the bounds of this box we've created 
And so the end lesson here is basically what you're going to want to do is for actors and components, you can use the set world location and you would feed it into the target. Uh, set world location is specific to scene components and then set actor location is going to be specific specific to actors, but it's going to be a similar logic that, you know, we could put this right in here. Um, but this right here is going to be how you would set the location in the world of a component or an actor. Hope you all found this video useful and stay tuned for more Unreal Engine 5 content and tutorials. Have a great day.